the so, that's oh, that's cool. So I am Burrell, catching up with you in the, I don't know, gangway of the Imperial <laughs> Hotel somewhere in Delhi. Is that where we are? Yes, okay. <laughs> that's where we are. World Class Diadio 2011. Mm -hmm. So what is Ian Burrell, the ramen ambassador, doing here? Well, I was invited here by uh, Diageo, invited by Ron Zacapa, so I'm going to be like an official blogger for Ron Zacapa. I know this problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know this problem as well. And then the Wi-Fi breaks together, yeah, they yeah, like yeah, that yeah. shit. No Wi-Fi, but we're going to blog. Yeah. <laughs> a message to Diageo, the photographs are not that important. <laughs> okay, that's a different story. Okay, let's go on. So you're, you're, you're doing seminars for Ron Zacapa here? Yes, I'm, well, I'm going to do a seminar as well on rum in general, but of course I'm going to include... and. Uh, Concentrate a little bit on Ron Zacapa, mm -hmm. um, being the uh, the only rum used for the world class. You see, so so you brought up the, this is the XO. Huh? This is what, the, XO. the XO. Oh, this is the XO. This okay. is one that's actually you brought a travel shaker from Germany. Yeah, you told me German why German. is German? Uh, well, because uh, German are efficient. You see, and you should. Uh, know, uh, I like it. Um, Germany give extra <laughs> points for. <laughs> what's your heritage? Where are you from? Uh, Jamaica. Jamaica. Okay, we give points yeah. for Jamaica. Uh, Jamaica. Ten, Jamaica. Ten of ten. There's a connection there. Jamaica. Yeah. Germany. Yeah. Yeah. So let's let's explain me your traveling shaker, the oh, German Effersens shaker. Yeah, little traveling shaker, what it is, is uh, carried around everywhere with me. Um, what you do is have your flasks inside there. Oh my yeah. god, and, uh, how cool it is. spirits in there, or you can put a. I like to sometimes put like Zacapa in this one and some Grand Monnier in there. Have a little lime in my pocket, which I normally have. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get the lime and then you, uh, and you just grate a bit. Have a, okay. A, a lime grater. Okay, very Zesta. cool. Yeah, yes. Pour that into here. We're just pouring out our rum and our Grand Monnier. Get some ice. Yeah. Don't know where we get ice from, but sometimes there's some cold people here. And these are cups. <laughs> and these are the cups. Yeah, it actually comes on the top. So you got your cups for a little shot. That's why we're having a. a little may, may I ask for a little shot of uh, sure the cup, so? Because uh, rum is about rums are for friends. Okay. Rums cool. are for friends. Okay. Cool. So you can have a little. Only shot. a little, a little. Yeah, so you want to keep the camera steady. Yes. <laughs> my, my tripod is not too. <laughs> So enjoy. So um, the rum ambassador, mm -hmm. Ian Burrell, yes. um, to me, I, every time I met people talking, when I talk about you, I always say you're a very clever guy. Okay. I hope you like to hear that. Oh, because uh, nobody was so clever yet to just go there and um, make their own job title. You go out to the world and say, I am the rum ambassador, which I think is the most clever move somebody did in the Thank industry. You. Thank you. Because there's still the gin ambassador missing, Angus yes. Winchester. Can you hear this? Yeah, Angus. We don't have the official <laughs> cognac. Um, nobody, I mean, it takes time. Now you did it since, I think, five years? Yeah, about five years. Five years. I've, so I've always been how, into rums. how do you come to the idea to call yourself, which I think is a great move, <laughs> the rum ambassador? Um, it actually came about with... Um, Actually, I started working with one brand um, a couple of days a week, um, Appleton Rum from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And they actually made me their first rum ambassador mm -hmm. um, of the UK. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, by me working with them and traveling around the UK promoting rums to other bartenders, um, they then decided, well, we can use you in other countries. So I was then taken out to New Zealand, Australia. I helped launch Appleton there and mm -hmm. became like a rum ambassador um, for them in other countries. Part-time. Yeah, part-time as yeah. such. Yeah. Yeah. But the most frustrating thing for me was um, um, not knowing about other rums. Uh, bartenders would ask me, well, how do Bacardi compare? How does uh, Coxburg compare? How does Havana Club compare to Appleton? And I didn't know So the you start to do research on products. I started doing research. I immersed myself. I took my savings. I traveled around the Caribbean to various different distilleries. Uh, worked with master blenders, distillers, and just learned about other rums um, so I can then pass that information back on to everyone else. And that's how the Rum Ambassador came about. The actual Very name cool. was uh, something that actually stuck. Uh, as Americans actually said, oh, the Rum Ambassador from the UK. Um, and I said, well, So you let name. out the UK because why limit yourself to a country? Well, I just gave myself uh, a promotion, so yeah. now I'm global Rum Ambassador. <laughs> that's perfect. That's <laughs> so perfect. I gave myself a promotion. <laughs> So you, you, you said very clever, you said you work with brands, not for brands. That's right, yeah, I work with, but not for. So, um, um, so I can go, I'll go into a session and it'll be supported, supported by Bacardi, supported by Diageo, by Havana. But the great thing about these brands, uh, and most, all brands I work with, they don't say you have to speak about our rum. Yeah. You can speak about it. We want you to speak about the category. I and think it's always a question of, yeah. uh, I mean, how, f how much you are... In the business, I mean, if people respect you mm. because you are the, you know, you are the man, Ooh, then they that. then they will not maybe <laughs> ask for. Can you please? It's always a yeah, question how yeah. f how far you're, you know. Right. Yeah. 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 So um. So it's great working with the brands because I do wholeheartedly believe in rum. 
most rums are made in developing countries. Yeah. Um, so it's great when that economy is going back to that country to yeah. develop that particular yeah. country. And for um, sure, every every category should. I mean, it's always cool. I mean, to have one guy mm. promoting a category. It'd be good. It'd be good. Um, it'd be nice because then um, I'll be able to have nice little verbal battles with the vodka ambassador. Huh. Um, or the uh, whiskey ambassador. Hey, you are the inventor of the vodka festival. <laughs> Come on. Oh yeah, the vodka festival. <laughs> so, uh, and then the next clever move for the rum ambassador, the clever guy from Jamaica, UK, uh, was to create the rum festival. Oh, the rum fest, yes. Um, the funny thing is, I, I, I'm, I wouldn't, I'm not the first person to do a rum festival. There have been rum festivals before. Back in, the when, late, in 1822, I want. 1822, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Little tiny ones in Medford, uh -oh. <laughs> New England, New England Rum Festival. Yeah, um, yeah I, I, I saw a couple of rum festivals. In fact, it, the one that inspired me to the rum festival was the one in, um, in America. I saw one in America, and it wasn't that Where was it? In New York. Okay. In New York. It wasn't what I see as a festival. It was okay. a, a tasting event. Um, so I said, you know what? I want to create an event where when people come to the show, this event, they really understand that rum is more than a spirit. It's a lifestyle. I want music. I want dancing. I want games. I want cocktails. I want food. I want women, guys, so people enjoying themselves. Uh, it's like Ian Burrell. It's not yeah, too much on the on the on the history side. <laughs> exactly. It's the whole thing. It's the whole thing. Yeah. So I Jamaica uh, style. Yeah, exactly. So um, I took my savings. Um, I did inquiries about hiring a hall. I had a hall. I took a massive gamble. What First, is a hall? A big uh, exhibition hall. A hall. A big I, said, hall. I understand a hall. Oh, I was a little no, 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 no. sorry. It's X rated. Yeah. Um, X rated. X rated. <laughs> so um, yeah, just a big exhibition hall. I took a big gamble because I did lose money on the first year. You did or you didn't? I did. Yeah, I, yeah, I do with every money. event. The problem is I only do them <laughs> once. <laughs> But um, after it. Everybody came to me after all the companies said, best event they've been to this year. And they've made me feel good. It, it's a brand. Was developing. It's always taking time. It's yeah. like mm -hmm. developing yourself with a rum ambassador, I right, guess. Yeah. You it need a few time. years, oh. run around, and after suddenly everybody says, we need this guy. And that's and, and I, I feel privileged for when people do that, when I get emails from other countries and say, Dude, we love what you're doing. Uh, we want to bring you out here just to talk to our bartenders. Because for me, that's just so inspiring. I'm, Yesterday, uh, just doing the cocktails for the Twitter blog for making the Zacapa cocktail. Which I have to do in half an hour. Oh, you have to do in half an hour. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I was to. late. Yeah. Um, made, I made a, invented a cocktail, um, called it the, the Flor de Lorena. Uh, hey, Lorena you were not allowed to, to name it, huh? Ah, oh, but they told me I'm not allowed to name it. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Don't put it on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Twitter guys, don't, don't, don't uh, listen to this. X-rated. I didn't name it, but I did took the name away. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was just it was a it was a cocktail that they said give it a little bit of femininity as yeah. well because um, um, I think they wanted it towards the ladies. Again, we're not allowed to do that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the great thing about it was the bartenders that were there, the Indian bartenders, were watching me, and they tasted the cocktail, and they loved it. They said, "Oh, we have to make one." So I asked one of the bartenders, "Can you make this drink I just made?" But he, he, he watched me so carefully. He made it perfect. He actually made it better than me. <laughs> um, and that's why I love, I love just passing on information. Because uh, it comes back. It comes back to you eight yeah. times. That's it. Cool. So, um, so that, that made me feel good. So uh, when, does, uh, when did you start with Rome Festival? Five, no, Five three. years. For, uh, 2007. 2007. So four, four, four and a half years ago. This year will be year five for Rome Fest. Last year we had six and a half thousand people. Whoa. Um, we're expecting more. We moved to a bigger venue. Um, we're You're going five digits, huh? Uh, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, uh, we're incorporating lots of other elements. We're incorporating food this year. So we've got some chefs, some master chefs, cooking with rums. Mm -hmm. So it'll be demonstrations. Uh, we've also got a trade-only day as well. So people like yourself will be invited to that day. And that's just for boutique and small rum brands. So Economy is okay. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's great. If you I'll, I'll, <laughs> don't worry. I'll send you over. Fly over. You, I'm, not, I'm not joking. You are. I'm flying you over. Oh, um, now we're talking. Yeah, yeah we're talking. One, two, one, so, two. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're going to have a boutique rum fest, and it's just okay. a That's a clever move, I think. And it's just yeah. trade, yeah. So that's, that's at the back end of London Cocktail Week, and then Saturday, Sunday is a consumer right. day where the thousands of people come and enjoy themselves. So it's going to be two events, rum in one. Yeah. And then we have the Golden Rum Barrel Awards um, on a Saturday night, which you're going to enjoy. I saw that you started this last year, first time, huh? Yeah. Who yeah, won it gonna, last year? Uh, various different brands. Um, we did a tasting competition for various rums in different categories. I asked friends like yourself around the world just to vote for their favorite rums in certain categories. So it was an esteemed panel. And then from the top five, we did a tasting competition. But this year, I'm changing it all. It's going to be the barrels again, but we're going to concentrate on people. Mm -hmm. So it'll be like Master Blender of the Year, Distiller of the Year, Distillery of the Year. Rum Ambassador of the Year, 
uh, global and local. How can there be a Roman ambassador of the year if you are the Roman ambassador? Yeah, it's a prize you always get. It's a prize. <laughs> I can't win no awards. <laughs> I can't win, even the rum influencer. I can't win that. Okay. I can't vote for myself. So um, we're going to have a nice dinner. It's a dinner, uh, award ceremony, big party, 300 people in the hotel, Hilton Hotel, uh, Olympia. And then there, uh, three years ago, mm. there's a gen. I forgot his name from Miami. He's quite oh, of influential Robert. on yeah, Rum. Yeah, Robert's good friend. He decided to do. He came to Rum Fest and uh, yeah. was inspired to do his own show, his own event, yeah. and put on the Rum Renaissance in Miami. Yeah. And uh, it's now become the most established Rum event in America now. Uh, yeah, it's quite. Um, a, yeah, I it's followed it online. Yeah, maybe, yeah. 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 It's, uh, I'll make sure he sends a ticket out for you to come and. I uh, know, we're coming there, we're coming <laughs> now there. Now you're getting there. But that's uh, so a great event. He, he's he's going to be over in Germany uh, for BCB, and he'll be here for Rumfest, um, London as well. So if he's coming to BCB, I think he would also have a sneak preview on the first German Rum Festival. Yeah, he probably will do, yes. Um, Dirk Becker. Is it is it a cooperation with you? Uh, no, no, I'm not involved, not involved. Dirk um, has a rum bar in, in Berlin, yes. and... Um, decided to do his own rum festival, which is great. Because it's, it's, it's looking very similar. First of all, I thought maybe it's a cooperation with you. Uh, no, um, I suppose uh, maybe he's used my, he's been to my event a few times, maybe he's used my event as a template. Um, I don't own the copyright on, no. on rum. So it's a compliment. It's, it's a compliment, a, yeah. I see it as a compliment as yeah. such, um, as opposed to competitor. I mean, I do have plans to do rum events around Europe and Germany. That's why I'm asking, because normally when yeah. you do think, you always think second yeah. step would be Germany, next yeah. country. Yeah. Interesting yeah. country, maybe Germany. But watch this space. There is going to be uh, a rum experience in Germany. Okay. <laughs> so competition always. Oh no, it's not competition. No, no, you know what? I'm, I'm kidding. The tropics. That's it. That's it. <laughs> so very cool. So, um, Ian, thanks a lot. Oh no, thank you. We, we concentrate on Sakapa now. Oh yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> the round <Ron> ambassador. <laughs>